Chelsea, thank you. Well, new at six, R. Kelly found guilty Monday of all charges, including sex trafficking and racketeering. Two Maryland women say they also were victims of the R&B star. WJZ's live is in Inner Harbor. Paul Gester is on Life Street, where these two Maryland women say they met R. Kelly as teenagers. Paul. Yeah, Vic, those two teens say they met up with R. Kelly at his hotel room here after his concert and after party in 1996. Today, vindication of sorts, 25 years after an alleged sexual assault in one of these hotel rooms. It was the concert for 16 year old Latrice Scaff and 15 year old Rochelle Washington. The best friends had looked forward to R. Kelly's concert stop in Baltimore. They described to WJZ meeting him at an after party and were invited back to his hotel. He entered the room already exposing himself to us. Rochelle says she shut herself in the bathroom. That's when Latrice alleged R. Kelly sexually assaulted her, something she described publicly in 2019. He asked me to perform all sex on him. I was under the influence of marijuana and alcohol, and I did it. He then had sexual intercourse with me, even though I did not have the capacity to consent. A woman who saw that press conference came forward, saying she saw the girls in the hotel that night, corroborating much of their story. They were reunited for the first time with our cameras rolling. WJZ was the only local station they talked to. I've thought about them for many, many years. They're very happy that he was convicted. Attorney Gloria Allred represents Scaff and Washington and other potential victims. He is the worst predator that I've ever gone after in 47 years. She says while they didn't testify at trial, they did help the investigation. Not only did they do the interview, but they did speak to law enforcement. They were very brave. I want to give them credit. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. Never. No. In a 2019 interview with Gail King, weeks after Scaff and Washington came forward, Kelly doubled down. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. After Monday's conviction, Kelly awaits sentencing next year. Given the crimes that he has been convicted of, that he should go to prison for the rest of his life. Kelly still faces a federal trial in Chicago, and he has pleaded not guilty to charges there and in Minnesota. We're live at 6 tonight at the Inner Harbor. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.